Jesus' birth was prophesied. It is recorded a sign happened in the heavens which was followed by the wise men from the east which came bearing gifts to pay homage after the birth of this great king. The angel Gabriel appears to Mary and tells her of God's plan for her to bear the saviour of the world and quotes the prophecy from Isaiah 7.14 so the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, the virgin will conceive and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which means God with us. A chance search result brought up the star of Bethlehem and some signs which happened in 3 BC. Using an astronomy simulation program called Skyglobe, I was able to see this occur and had a hunch with the two coming together in the conjunction of Jupiter and Regulus that there was a significance that they almost shone as one. This date was September 11, 3 BC. From Nazareth's view of the skies, the next morning sunrise had a sign stand out again. The sun was clothing Virgo at her hip as she rose with the moon at her feet on September 12. The prophecy of Revelation 12 describes this event as a great sign in the heavens. The Revelation 12 sign describes a woman with 12 stars on her head, clothed with the sun and with the moon at her feet, in labour, about to give birth. It says that while she was in travail, a great red dragon crouched in front of her as if to eat the child after it was born. It had seven heads, ten horns and seven crowns. Its tail drew a third part of the stars and cast them to the earth. That child was a boy who was going to rule the nations with a rod of iron, and he was caught up to God and to his throne. And the vision continues on. Meanwhile, here we have. After Virgo rises in the sky, the constellation to the left of her and slightly after her is called the Serpent. It has seven main stars that appear in its cobra-like upright parts before it bends 80 degrees. Virgo is one of 12 constellations in the direct pathway of Earth's rotation, commonly called the zodiac signs. The 12 stars also represent 12 tribes of Israel and 12 apostles. Note the prophecy is also a Revelation 12. So how do we know that this is the correct sign? When we look at the other factors involved, we find there are three planets in Virgo, each with significant meanings. We also find that the times they arise on the horizon paint a fantastic set of secondary signs pointing to various verses in the prophecies. Firstly, Jupiter rises clear of the horizon at 1.47am, followed by Regulus one minute later. Now note the prophecy numbers from Isaiah 7.14, and that was 1.47. Jupiter is the Roman name for Zeus, the king of the gods. Regulus means the little king. Jesus is the lion of the tribe of Judah in Revelation 5.5. 5. In the days after this, Jupiter starts its retrograde cycle where it reverses direction in the sky and during this process, which takes several months, it passes Regulus three times in all. The first star of Virgo rises at 3.40 a.m. Note the 43 for later. 3 times 4 is 12. 12 is mentioned earlier with the prophecy of Revelation 12 and the 12 constellations. Venus rises at 4.17 a.m. Again, Isaiah 7.14. Venus itself is also known as the morning star. Jesus calls himself this in Revelation 22.16. Mercury rises clear by 4.44 a.m. Note there is a two minute difference in two different simulators on this time from the windows to the DOS versions of Skyglobe. Note also in Jamatra, Jesus Gospel Cross Jewish Messiah English Jamatra. All of these have the value of 444 in this beast code and even beast code itself has the value of 444. Mercury is also the messenger of the gods. Mercury has an 88-day orbit, which is a number sign on these things. There are 88 constellations. Emmanuel adds up to 88 in English, A equals 1 and Z equals 26, as does the Greek version of Jesus, spelt 
from Greek letters to English letters as I-E-S-O-U-S. -S. And in the same English code, this adds up to 88. Pluto rises at 4.49 a.m., with simply 49 being 7 times 7 as a sideline sign. Pluto is the Roman name for the Greek Hades, which is the god of the underworld where souls go after death. Jesus wins the victory over death and has the keys to death and Hades in Revelations 1.18. The sun rises at 5.21 a.m. Several notes on the sun as the light as Jesus is the light and as the sun as Jesus is the sun in the sound. The verse in Revelations 12.5, the mirror of the 5.21 a.m., is where the male child is caught up to heaven and seated at the right hand of God. The last star of Virgo rises at 7.14 a.m., again those same numbers from Isaiah, exactly in order this time, Isaiah 7.14, 7.14 a.m. The moon rises at 7.49 a.m., which again is 7 times 7 in the 49, as well as a 7 for the hour. And so that is the sign being finished off with Virgo, with the moon rising up at her feet. Well, this is September 12, 3 B.C. in Israel. It is September 11, 3 B.C. in New York. Also, with a two minutes tolerance, 7.47 a.m., is the time the first plane hit the first tower of the World Trade Center in New York 2003 years later. Other signs that come on the links between Jesus' birth and September 11, 9-11, and Iraq and the fifth trumpet. This is also near the time of the second coming, with Jesus as the Lion of the tribe of Judah. It would make sense with the tale of this age would be a clue pointer sign. Then Ebola, rises clear at 3.18 a.m. and this is the tail section of the lion and it actually means lion's tail. So that's 3.18 a.m. This messenger's surname also adds up to 3.18 in the beast code and in the Strong's Concordance Hebrew word 3.18 means last or at last. In Strong's Concordance Greek word 3.18 means of necessity. The prophecy to calculate the number of the beast is Revelation 13.18 Note the end is a 318. Note the timing of this presentation is around the timing of the prophecy in Revelation 12 as the great sign in the heavens, which indeed it is, between the sixth trumpet of Revelation 9 and the seventh trumpet which ends and fulfills the prophecies.